Hello everybody, this is Vicki from the Purple Penguin Craft Room and today's craft is going to be a light up pumpkin. We're going to be using um, this pumpkin from Dollar Tree. It does light up here at the bottom. Uh, it is not going to look like this when, it, when we are done. Uh, we're going to be using um, probably two bags of this mesh tubing. Um, it is the brown. Uh, it comes in all different colors. So if you want to recreate this uh, and make a different color pumpkins, definitely uh, do that. I'm also going to be using some tool. This is also from the Dollar Tree. This tool actually has white specks in it. Uh, you can get, you know, whatever kind of tool or ribbon. Uh, you can do ribbon too. We're going to use some black florals. Um, we're also going to be using, I've got one of these. Uh, it's a, um, this is actually a pack of, I believe, six or eight. It's wire. Uh, but it's paper wrapped wire. This is from Walmart. Uh, we'll just use a little bit of that. Uh, I'm going to also use, uh, this is some twine. This is from Michaels. Um, this is the thicker twine. Uh, usually at Michaels you can come all different colors. Uh, this one is the lighter um, beige color. Um, I'm probably going to be using some raffia and um, some hot glue. So uh, let's get started. We're going to first put we're going to take our pumpkin apart. So this may take a little bit of time. It is not easy. I've already done one of these. Um, but it, it will, it will make sense when we start the, the rest of this project. Um, but we're going to take it all apart. All right, all taken care of, got all that mesh off. It leaves us with just this wire. So what we're going to start with, we're going to take our tubing here. Um, and this tubing is a little bit difficult to work with because it's extra long. Uh, what I did in the other one is I cut it in half to make it a little bit easier to use. So I just took it found the, where the half was and just did half at a time uh, just because it makes it a little bit easier to use. So what we're going to do here is start at the bottom and we're going to weave it in and out. So we're going to go in and out, in and out. This does actually have um, it has an even amount of wire. So what we're going to have to do is once you go around one time, you're going to have to rotate because uh, otherwise you'll just be doing the same weave throughout the whole thing. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Once you get it, once you get it started here. All right, so so now I've gone around once, but if I keep going, if you notice, 
it's just going to go the same pattern up, down, up, down. So you want to rotate it. I mean, if you want to keep it like that, that's totally fine. That would be a very unique pumpkin. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to skip going under this one to, to mimic that, the, the same route that I made. I'm going to go jump two and then jump over to this next one over here. So does that make sense? So then you're, you're alternating for the next row. Your next row is going to be the opposite of the row you just did. If you have any questions about that, just, you know, in the comments, let me know. Um, and I can, can show you again, but it's for the most part, it's just weaving in and out, in and out. Okay, so now we've gone approximately about a little under halfway up. And we've used the last of it. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to just glue this down to itself so it doesn't unravel on us. Be careful, this is mesh, so be, watch your fingers with it. Sure. Let that dry for just a minute before you move or anything else. At this point, you can decide what you want to do with the middle portion of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, that black tool. Kind of, it's, it's black, but it has white spots on it. So it's, it's roughly the size of tool. So, but obviously that's not going to work. So. What I want to do is fold it in half, like so, and then still, it's still a little bit larger than what I want. So again, we're just going to fold that. So it's basically going to be folded in quarters. So we're going to fold that again in quarters. So it's, it's roughly, I'd say roughly about an inch. And we're going to take this and we're going to just start weaving it through because this is what I want my middle to look like. You can see how that's going to look. So it's going to have the brown, black, and then we're going to go brown again, and then we're going to do a brown stem. And then we're going to put black accents at the top. So it's going to be a black and brown and white because it's got the white speckles. So I want to do the same thing I did with this and weaving it in and out. Just make sure to keep everything folded. Now I haven't cut it yet because I, I don't want to waste any. 
and I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need. So I'm not cutting it yet. I'm just slowly weaving it through how much I need so I can get around to the other side. Still going. Now, if you totally wanted to do this with ribbon, it would look really, it would look really nice with ribbon too. You've got like a really nice ribbon to use. That would work too. Um, I'm using the tool and, and mainly because it's see-through, you know, the tool is see-through and that's kind of what I want. So I want to see more of my pumpkin lid up because if you put a solid ribbon, this portion's not going to light up. Um, so you can, you can tell it's going to light up through the through the mesh. So now we've got our mesh on there or got our tool on there. Now I want to go ahead and want to hot glue these together. You want to keep them together. Be careful with the hot glue gun and the hot glue because it will go through. Be mindful of it going through. I am using a low temp glue gun. I'm going to go ahead and leave there this that part in there. That's okay because that's just going to be on the inside of the pumpkin and you're not going to see that. Just going to kind of push it down. You don't have to glue them down if you don't want to. Um, if you want to kind of hold them in place, you could put glue in certain places on the the, the wire form here kind of push it down there at certain spots so I am I'm just gonna fold this back on itself here for it to hold in place just gluing it on itself to help hold it.
All right, all finished. Our pumpkin looks great. I love how that looks. Now, if we turn it on, now it's kind of hard to tell with the lights, but I will definitely, um, at, at the end of this video, I will show uh, a picture of what this looks like when it's, when it's in the dark lit up because you can see all the way through everything. Next step we need to do is the stem. Stem. I've just got this twine here and this is actually from Michael's um, and it comes in all different colors. You can get it in green and blue. I've seen it in pink and purple and uh, I have some in black, um, but I'm going to use this lighter. This is probably the lightest color I've seen it come in. It's almost a white and uh, we're just going to start by just tying a knot here at the base just to get us started here. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I'm probably not going to be able to go all the way around with that. So we just needed to briefly kind of hold just a little bit there. And then we're going to just start wrapping it around. Now, the closer you get to the top, it's going to want to not work because it, it's kind of caves in. So I want to go ahead and just put some hot glue on that and help hold it down. Try and hurry before my hot glue decides to dry on me. I'm thinking it might have already done. All right, if you're not fast enough, <laughs> the hot glue will dry. So let's try it again. We'll just make this part the back. It's fine. All right, all done. Now we want to dress it up with some leaves and decorations. I've got some white, I've got some black. Uh, we're going to start with, I want to think I want to put some white and then we'll go with some black behind in front of them. Kind of look kind of cool. I can stand out a little bit. I'm trying to pick some of the smaller of the smaller of the leaves. I don't want it to go too crazy. There's Trying not to hide the stem too much because I still want you to be able to tell it's a pumpkin. I don't want to hide that too much there. So I don't want to get too crazy with the embellishments. I think I actually might just kind of stop with that. And then I want to do like a little uh, a raffia bow here in the middle. So I'm actually just going to take... Take my raffia here. 
I'm going to do what I call a finger bow. It's where I grab how many fingers wide do I want your, your loops to go? I think I want my loops to go about like that, about three fingers. So I'm going to hold it there, three fingers, wrap it around, and then come back across. And then take it and you squish it in the middle. Pull these down. Now you can take whatever you you want to tie the middle. Uh, sometimes I just like to cut some of the raffia on the end there. And I just take my little strand, wrap it around the middle there, like the center of your bow. And then you just double knot it in the back. All right, and you got yourself a little finger bow, I like to call it. It's all set there. We're just going to stick it on right here, and I kind of want it to be a little bit messy there, hang down. Now we're all set. Now I did this in kind of a, a black and white theme with the, with a kind of brown going on, but you can do whatever theme you want. Um, I've also done uh, an orange one. So we've got an orange and black. So they can definitely do for Halloween and you can do for fall. Um, you could do these in whatever color you want um, to go with your decor. It's totally up to you. I mean, I've seen some people do blue pumpkins. You can do green pumpkins, um, you know, white pumpkins. Totally up to you. Um, kind of make it your own and do your own thing. But here we get what I've got going on. And they do light up. Uh, it's hard to tell with the lighting. Um, but uh, wait till the end of this video and I will show you what it looks like in the dark all lit up. All right. Happy crafting.